acquisition by the city, this is the rationale for doing it, acquisition by the city is part of a proactive effort to find a new grocer for the location and bring healthy and fresh food options to the area. Again, a rationale that we, the community, have asked the city and asked our aldermen and, and have asked uh, uh, our, the private developer community to try and do. So that's their rationale for doing it. Since Dominus closed its 15 stores in the city last year, every location but this one has been occupied by new tenants. The acquisition will enable more aggressive steps toward a new grocery store than the current owner has been willing or able to do, said Mayor Emanuel. The city official and representatives of Mayor Emanuel's grocery task force have met with the owner, Jeffrey Plaza, of Westminster LLC, and potential tenants on numerous occasions in the past year help facilitate a new store, but potential operators have indicated that the public in these terms far exceed market rates. So the rationale, in summary, for, for condemning uh, and, and taking by eminent domain the whole center is our need and our and the articulation that we want for the whole for 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 our for our community needs. Now, as someone proactively said, the real question is what does the development of the whole center really mean? And what does that, how can that harm us or how can that help us? We have many examples, if we start to get deeply into this, of developers coming in and developing something that is absolutely not to the community's benefit. We have examples, Leo and I were talking about the example of what happened with, for example, um, the, the uh, Italian community, when land was condemned by the, and, and the University of Illinois built its, its, uh, its facility. Now, that was a benefit for the community to have a, a, a big university, and they were able to justify it like that, but it wiped out a very established, long-standing community who couldn't afford to live there anymore. There are numerous examples like that. Uh, Lake Meadows was built in the 50s, and that was condemned a very, very, very prosperous and viable African-American community for the sake of what? Selling it to New York Life Insurance Company so that they could build the very lucrative high-rises that are now standing there as Lake Meadows and Perry Shores. So we know that this thing can happen, and, and it could be a benefit on the one hand, but it could end up being something that could be very um, detrimental to the community if we don't have input in it. So part of what we want to know and part of what we want to begin to, uh, to understand is how and, and shouldn't the community have more input into this whole development process. If, they, if the city, as Leo has just said, at the end of the day in this process, they're going to hold, hand it over to a developer. What kind of developer? Develop. Is it already? Is it, is it all? Is it, is it the kind of development that's happening in Hyde Park now, where the rents have gone up so high that the local businesses, uh, su such as Lord uh, Stratford's business, which was a lovely business, couldn't take the rent anymore. So the local people with the small businesses were pushed out, and high-end businesses came in that were pre-selected, not by the community at all. So that's the issue that I think is on the table and that we need to have some understanding of and we need as a community to find out how do we how do we interact with this process so that we, the community, can have input into what comes next or, or even if it comes down like that. The possibility, as Leo is indicating, I think, is that maybe just the, the, the ordinance being passed is is sufficient to give the very narrow response that we want, which is to, uh, to, 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 to jump on the existing owner to come on and, and, and negotiate with us. That may be the, the, the narrow decision we want. On the other hand, we are interested in our community being developed. We are interested in, in, that, in that shopping center being all that it could be. However, we need to have far more controls over that. And how does, how does that work? So, any, any responses to that? How does that work and how, how can, can the community gain controls over that, Leo? 
you, you will not get control in the court. The court is not going to, you're, you're not even going to be a party defendant, and you won't have any right uh, to come into court and say, we don't want this or we want that. You couldn't even contest the city's right to take the property because you're not an owner in the center of our town. The way that you would have input is through politics, not through law. That's, a, that's strictly a, a political question. It's not a legal question at all. You don't have standing to go into court and, and uh, go and review that at all. From the eminent domain point of view. So let's throw it open for questions. I know you all have questions, so come on and ask your question. Maybe we'll make your
real estate taxes would abate is uh, upon filing a uh, complaint to condemn until the city gets title to the property, if they do get title to the property. If they don't get title to the property, if the condemnation suit's abandoned, the owner has to pay taxes during the course of the case. But if the city does acquire the property, and let's say they acquire it in 2017, and they file the suit in January of 2015, the taxes paid from 17 back to 15 would be, would be rebated to the owner. To your, to your other part of your question, that too is a very excellent uh, idea that the coalition uh, form a committee to, for, to, to, to take things, uh, take away uh, some of the things from this meeting and what we decide to do afterwards, which I am uh, you know, prepared to say is going to be something that says we need further study, we need further input, and so I do believe that that would, that would be a very logical thing to have done. Miss Miles, in terms of the SSA tax levy, if that parcel does not pay into the tax levy, then that means that the money obviously would not be collected and the services would be reduced. Right now, the SSA 42 operates on an annual budget of about $542,000, and there is a significant portion of that money which is paid from that mall. So if the taxes aren't paid, then obviously the SSA will not be able to uh, continue with all of the services that the businesses have uh, you know, appreciated over the past few years. Hi, my name is Ann. Um, we have a monster that is in hibernation at our southern door. And that monster is the Lakeside Development, the McAfee developers that are in control of that property. And that property, for those of you who may not know, is the old steelworks site. So one projection is that when that thing gets built, that there will be 35,000 more cars per hour that are going downtown to and from. The most direct route is South Shore Drive. And of course they built the new Lakeshore Drive extension that makes the end of that a super highway. So my question is, um, well my concern is, is that will become an eminent domain issue that they will want to take over what is a gem in our South Shore community, which is the beauty of South Shore Drive and all the architecture there and the nice environment and the tree cover and the bike lane and all of that and make that into a super highway. And how that relates to this is eminent domain. So my concern is the eminent domain precedent that might be set by handing over our power as a community to the city of Chicago to solve our problems. That could mean a precedent that would almost invite McAfee developers to find someone to come in and do eminent domain on Sasha Drive. So I think we need to think about this, not just in terms of we need a grocery store now, but in what do we want our community to be in 10 years, 20 years, and 30 years? Do we want our children and our great-grandchildren even to live in this community and have it be beautiful and have the things that they need here? Or do we want to be a ghetto that people drive?